Uh, last week I was here when Dale Matthews talked about the library and the fact that porno pornography can easily be seen on their computers. No filters. The audience was full of members of the library board and library supporters many of whom chuckled and nodded their heads as Mr. Matthews recounted the vile insinuations members of that board and Cheryl Walker made. After Judy Aaron suggested that porn was a problem at the library, Cheryl Walker stated emphatically, I'd like to assure people our children are not accessing pornography. There are filters on our library's computers. Rest assured people, if you're sending your children to the library, they are not accessing any pornographic material. Promptly after that meeting, Mr. Matthews went to the library and proved that was not true. So Cheryl Walker knew exactly what his intentions were when he went there to investigate Ms. Aaron's allegation, and yet allowed and even enjoined, uh, it, and even joined insinuating that Dale Matthews is some sort of a pervert Slander, defined, is the action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging a, to a person's reputation. This is the kind of thing one might expect middle school students when, to do when faced with an argument to which they have no substantive response. It is understandable in children. It is despicable in adults. People who resort to a by any means necessary or scorched earth strategy to achieve a political objective are not trustworthy people by definition as they will lie if that is what is necessary. You don't want to trust people like this to run your library or chair your board of commissioners. Mr. Matthews discovered something he thought should be brought to the board's attention, expecting they would take him seriously, and he was publicly abused. The chair of this board owes Dale Matthews and Judy Aarons an apology. <laughs> 